might not think much about modern naval forces at first glance. They often operate far from our everyday lives, but when pirates decide to test their limits, the outcome is pretty mind-blowing. Let's dive into this video and see what goes down when pirates take on the wrong naval crew. It's a tale so wild, you'll hardly believe it until you see it. All right, let's jump right in. 1. Dai Hongdan Incident What if I told you a story about a totally unexpected team-up between the US and North Korea on the ocean? Yep, that actually happened. Let's go back to October 29th, 2007. There was this North Korean cargo ship called the MV Dai Hongdan, cruising about 70 miles northeast of Mogadishu. Suddenly, Somali pirates, dressed up and sneaky, jumped on board pretending they were there to protect the ship. Instead, they took over and held the crew hostage, hoping to get a hefty ransom. But things took a twist. The crew of the Dai Hong Dan weren't just going to sit there. They managed to send out a distress signal. Who picked it up? The US Navy, that's who right there on the USS James E. Williams. They didn't waste a moment, sending an SH-60B Seahawk helicopter and their visit, board, search and seizure VBSS team to deal with the situation. Back on the Dai Hong Dan, the crew wasn't just waiting for help, they fought back against the pirates and started to take back their ship. Things got heated, with a pirate losing his life in the struggle and several others, plus crew members, getting hurt. The US Navy arrived in time to secure the ship and even gave medical care to those who needed it. And get this, North Korea actually thanked the US, which was a big deal given their usual tensions. 2. When pirates attacked two American warships. Forget your typical action flick, the real deal went down back in March 2000. 2006, off the coast of Somalia. There were these two U.S. Navy warships, the USS Cape St. George and the USS Gonzalez, cruising around as part of a special group combined Task Force 150. Their job was to act like the ocean's cops, keeping pirate trouble at bay. So early in the morning on March 18th, things got wild. The USS Gonzalez spots what seems like a normal fishing boat, but it's towing a couple of skiffs. Total pirate move. As the Navy ships close in to check things out, you won't believe it. The pirates think they've struck gold and start shooting, probably figuring they're about to raid some easy target. Big mistake. They just messed with the wrong crowd. Two US Navy warships. How did the Navy respond? Fast and hard. The ships shoot back with their smaller guns. It turns into a fiery battle that ends with the pirates' main boat catching fire spectacularly, all because a tracer round hit the perfect spot, igniting the fuel. The smaller skiffs, seeing their main ride turn into a fireball, quickly give up to the USS Cape St. George. What happened next? Twelve pirates got snagged, a few were roughed up and needed medical care, which the coalition forces provided, because that's how they operate. Instead of going to trial, these pirates were sent straight back to Somalia, probably rethinking their life choices about messing with random ships. 3. Dutch Marines storm cargo ship and take down Somali pirates. When something major happens, you bet the Dutch Marines are on the scene. Here's what went down. On April 5th, 2010, there's this German cargo ship, the MS Taipan, just doing its thing around 500 miles from the Somali coast. Out of nowhere, Somali pirates zoom up in their speedboats ready to stir up trouble. Now, the crew on the MS Taipan, they weren't about to let their ship get taken over. They all gathered in a secure area of the ship and managed to shut down the engines. No fun rides for the pirates today. That's when the Dutch Navy stepped in, the real MVPs of this tale. They picked up the distress signal and raced over with the HNLMS Trump tried to talk it out with the pirates, but no luck. The pirates wouldn't even answer their calls. So the Marines had to step it up, arriving in style with a helicopter and everything, firing warning shots and fast roping down to the ship. And yep, they took care of the pirates in a quick face-off. One of the Marines got a minor injury, but guess what? All the crew were totally fine. The pirates nabbed. And just like that, the MS Taipan was back on its route, sailing along as if nothing had ever happened. Seriously, who says the high seas are boring. 4. Somali pirates captured by India to face trial. Back in March 2024, the drama on the high seas took a new twist. It ended up in a courtroom in Mumbai, where 35 Somali pirates were brought to face serious charges. For the first time in more than 10 years, these pirates weren't just disarmed and sent back to sea. They were actually brought to land for a major trial. It all started back in December, when these pirates took over the Maltese-flagged MV Rouen, which was about 200 
160 nautical miles off the coast of Somalia. This wasn't just a typical hijack. It marked a big return to their old tricks of taking over cargo ships, something everyone thought had stopped back in 2017. The heroes of the day were the Indian Navy's INS Kolkata crew. Navy commandos made a dramatic entrance from a military plane, took control of the ship, and got all 17 crew members out safely without anyone getting hurt. Now in court, things are really heating up. With India's tough anti-piracy laws, these pirates could be facing the most severe penalties, like the death penalty for murder or attempted murder and life sentences for piracy. This trial isn't just about these 35 guys. It's a big message that India is stepping up its efforts to fight piracy, especially with the new problems popping up like threats from Yemen's Houthi rebels in the Red Sea. 5. When pirates mistook a warship for a cargo ship. In January 2012, Somali pirates bit off more than they could chew when they mistook the Spanish Navy replenishment oiler Patino for an easy target civilian cargo ship. There they were, anchored in the Indian Ocean, fresh from escorting a World Food Program ship to Mogadishu, not expecting trouble. Armed heavily, these pirates opened fire, thinking they'd hit the jackpot. But oh, how wrong they were. The crew of the Patino wasn't about to let their ship go down without a fight. They quickly fought back with so much energy that the pirates' little boat didn't stand a chance. The skirmish was fierce but quick, lasting just about two minutes. Sure, the Patino got a few scratches from the shooting, but that was nothing compared to what happened to the pirates. Their skiff was hammered, chased down by the ship's helicopter, making sure to let the pirates know they weren't getting away. As the chase heated up, the pirates started ditching everything, ladders, weapons, you name it, into the sea, probably hoping to lighten their load or ditch evidence. But it was all for naught. The helicopter crew was relentless, capturing six of the pirates, and let's just say a few of them definitely felt the consequences of their actions. And guess what? They all got a one-way ticket to Spain to face charges of piracy and assault. So much for picking an easy target, right? The Patino crew showed those pirates they weren't just any ship on the high seas. 6. Somali pirates attack on Chinese warship. What if the high seas hold more secrets than just deep waters? So here's the scoop. The MV Central Park, a ship flying the Liberian flag and linked to an Israeli businessman, was making its way through the Gulf of Aden in 2023. It was all normal sea journey stuff until it suddenly turned into a fight for survival. Somali pirates zoomed in, planning to take control of the ship, maybe even taking it towards Yemen. That's when the USS Mason, DDG-87, a massive force in naval defense, jumped into action to cut off the pirates' getaway route. Just as the Navy was getting strategic, a missile launched from Yemen threw in a wild twist, like something out of a blockbuster movie. Why a missile? Well, maritime expert Sal Macoliano thinks it might be because of the ship's connections to Israel. Now that's some serious international tension. Brigstad General Patrick Ryder confirmed that the pirates came from Somalia, adding yet another layer to the situation. And according to retired rear ADM, Terry McKnight, these pirates are not amateurs. They're pretty skilled. This situation isn't just about chasing pirates. It's a glimpse into a complex web of global politics, with Somali refugees, Yemeni fighters, and important sea routes all playing key roles. While the US deals with these piracy puzzles, reminding us of past incidents like the Maersk, Alabama, China's keeping its distance, basically saying, not my circus, not my monkeys. This isn't just any day on the ocean. It's a snapshot of the tricky dance of maritime security, where everyone's moving pieces in a game of high stakes and hidden motives. 7. Somali pirates attack Russian warship, then it backfires. Imagine sailing the open sea with a cargo full of oil when suddenly pirates hijack your vessel. That's exactly what happened in May 2010, but it turned into a moment where heroes showed up, specifically the Russian Navy's Marshal Shaposhnikov. They came to the rescue of the Novaship oil tanker Moscow University and its 23 crew members who were a long way off the coast of Somalia. This tanker wasn't just carrying any cargo, it had a massive load of oil destined for China. Luckily, there was no spill or fire, which meant the valuable cargo and crew were kept safe during this intense rescue operation. The Russian Navy knows a thing or two about dealing with pirates. They had some gutsy encounters before. For instance, in 2009, their ship Peter the Great caught 10 Somali pirates, and the Admiral Pantaleyev caught 29 pirates in a separate event. During the Moscow University rescue, the crew came up with a sharp plan. They powered down the ship and hid in a safe room, avoiding a potentially disastrous hostage situation. To add to the drama, a US Navy helicopter did a secret flyby at night.
night. Then, in a move that could be straight out of a movie, Russian commandos raided the pirates at 3 a.m., quickly getting the situation under control. Despite some initial skepticism from the EU about Russia handling pirate problems on their own, the operation led by Captain Yuri Tolchinsky turned out to be a huge success. The Russian Navy got a lot of praise for their decisive action, proving they were tough on the high seas. Even the European naval forces had to acknowledge that sometimes taking bold steps is the best way to handle things at sea. 8. The Real Mayask, Alabama, Somali Pirate Story Off the coast of Somalia, a remarkable event unfolded in April 2009, one that hadn't been seen in over 200 years. The Mayask, Alabama, an American cargo ship, was making its way from Oman to Kenya when suddenly four Somali pirates took hold of it. The ship was loaded with 17,000 metric tons of important goods, including food destined for East Africa. Then, suddenly, it was under attack way out there, 240 miles from the closest port. Thanks to their training for such scenarios, the crew quickly gathered in a secure spot called the Citadel. From this safe room, they managed to keep control over the ship's steering and engine, which made it really difficult for the pirates to fully take over. The situation escalated when the ship's captain, Richard Phillips, was taken and held in a lifeboat, with the pirates asking for a ransom. This intense standoff caught the attention of people all around the world for several days. Things really came to a head when the US Navy got involved. They were nearby on the USS Bainbridge, and when it looked like Captain Phillips was in serious danger, Navy SEAL snipers were called in. Their quick and decisive action led to three pirates being subdued and the captain being rescued. The fourth pirate gave up and was later taken to the US to face charges. 9. INS Sharda foils piracy attempt on LV Lord Mountbatten. Sometimes, even the best-intentioned actions can turn into unforgettable moments, but maybe for reasons you wouldn't expect. On May 16, 2017, the high seas witnessed a dramatic showdown. The Indian Navy's INS Sharda, an offshore patrol vessel, swooped in to save the day when the MV Lord Mountbatten, a Liberian registered merchant ship, sent out a distress signal. This wasn't just any call for help, it was a desperate plea during a bold attempt at piracy in the dangerous waters of the Gulf of Aden, about 230 nautical miles southwest of Salalah, Oman. As the INS Sharda arrived on the scene, they spotted quite the setup. Two dows and eight skiffs, like a scene straight out of an action movie. And just like in the movies, the moment the bad guys saw the cavalry coming, three of those skiffs turned tail and sped away. High drama on the high seas indeed. But the action didn't stop there. The Indian Navy's elite Marcos commandos, along with support from an armed helicopter, weren't just there to make an appearance. They boarded and searched the remaining vessels. And what did they find? No fishing nets or gear, just the trappings of nefarious plans. They even found an AKM rifle with a filled magazine, an unmistakable sign of trouble averted. Well, you can't please everyone, nor can you always predict how a day on the open sea will unfold. And as for those pirates, better luck next time. 10. Somali pirates attack German naval supply ship. Here's another head shaker from the high seas. The MV Basilisk, a German-managed cargo ship sailing under the Liberian flag, nearly became a pirate's paradise about 380 nautical miles off Mogadishu, Somalia. Can you believe it? Just when you thought it was calm, the pirates decide it's showtime again. But hold on, it gets better. These wannabe buccaneers from two tiny crafts think they can just board a giant cargo ship? What were they thinking? Did they expect no one would notice? Then come the heroes. Operation Atalanta, the European Union's anti-piracy naval force. These folks were not having it. They picked up the distress signal and their response was swift. Not on our watch. Their warships were on the scene in no time, showing once more why messing with them in these waters is a bad idea. Can you believe the nerve of these pirates? Meanwhile, the team at Atalanta was coordinating like the pros they are, keeping these crucial trade routes secure. Because, let's be honest, no one wants their shipping lanes to become a pirate's playground. It's pretty much a circus out there, but thank goodness for those naval protectors keeping the high seas from becoming a total free-for-all. 11. French Navy helicopter fires guns to stop pirate. Ever gazed out at the ocean and thought about all the drama happening on that huge secretive expanse? Let me share a story about some high seas action from April 2011, not with old-time pirates, but with the French Navy taking on modern-day pirates near Somalia. Back then, the French warship FS Giprat was cruising as part of the European Union's naval force, EU Navy for Operation Atalanta. Their mission? Keep piracy in check 
trek along the dangerous east coast of Somalia. During a routine patrol, they spotted something unusual. The crew saw a suspicious-looking vessel. Now, this wasn't just a random boat. It was a fishing dhow that pirates had taken over and were using as their base for attacks. Equipped with a fast attack skiff, rocket-propelled grenades, and small arms, this dhow was a serious threat. But the FS Geprat didn't just sit back. They sent out their helicopter to take a closer look and see if they could put a stop to the pirate action. The helicopter flew over, issuing warnings and firing shots into the air, hoping to get the pirates to surrender without a fight. However, the pirates were stubborn and kept heading towards the Somali coast. That's when the helicopter took decisive action, firing directly at the Diao. Just like that, the pirate operation was disrupted, boom, without making things worse. The helicopter crew was super careful, though, because there might have been hostages on board the Dao, and that was how quick thinking and bold moves at sea showed that even though the tactics of pirates might be old, the good guys have new tricks to stop them. It's amazing how the fight against piracy is evolving with the times. 12. Pirates attack French warship twice. You won't believe this wild tale from off the coast of Somalia. So, Somali pirates thought they'd found an easy target, aiming to take over what they figured was just another commercial cargo ship. But little did they know that they accidentally tried to hijack the French Navy ship La Somme, a fuel supply ship that's anything but helpless. Now, La Somme isn't just any ship. It's a gigantic 160-meter monster that weighs 18,000 tons and serves as the command hub for all French military operations in the Indian Ocean. Yeah, it pretty much runs the show on the sea, air, and land out there. Flashback to October 2009, and here come the pirates, speeding towards what they think is their next big score. But boy, were they in for a surprise. As they attempted to climb aboard, the crew of La Somme, always on their toes, was ready to defend their ship, and it wasn't even a close call. These pirates quickly figured out they were way in over their heads, going up against a top-notch military team instead of some easy-going civilians. What's the finale? The La Somme crew captured five of the pirates, really showing off the strength of the French Navy and teaching these guys a tough lesson about choosing their battles wisely. That's definitely biting off more than you can chew. 13. Malaysian Navy Bust Pirate Operation in the Gulf When you're out on the open ocean, like way out in the notorious pirate waters of the Gulf of Aden, the last thing you'd expect is for your calm trip to suddenly get wild with a pirate invasion. That's exactly what happened to the crew of the MV Bunga Laurel. They were smoothly sailing along, transporting all sorts of pricey goods like lubricating oil and ethylene dichloride, when out of nowhere, Somali pirates decided to join in about 300 nautical miles southeast of Oman. Right after the pirates climbed aboard, the crew didn't just freeze up, they quickly sent out a distress signal and hid themselves in a secure area of the ship called the Citadel. Pretty clever move, huh? Meanwhile, not too far away, the highly trained Navy squad from Pascal on board the Bunga Mas Lima picked up the distress signal. Their response? Not on our watch! Under the cover of darkness, they kicked off a daring rescue mission, striking the pirates from both the air and sea. There was a helicopter flying around up top, making sure no pirate reinforcements could join. When the intense confrontation went down, the commandos didn't hold back. They got into a serious scuffle. Three pirates ended up in a tough spot, but the Pascal team? They were on fire, regaining control of the ship, making sure the crew was safe and capturing the pirates. Just another day on the water, with the good guys making sure pirates don't get their way. 14. Seaborne Spirit Cruise Ship Pirate Attack In 2005, early one morning, two pirate boats charged through the waves, heading straight for the ship. These pirates were loaded up with some serious gear, planning to take over the ship that had 151 passengers on board. But guess what? The captain was already on top of things and had a plan in place. As the pirates got closer, the ship kicked into defense mode. They turned on this thing called a long-range acoustic device, or RAD, which is basically a super loud speaker that blasts sound waves so intense it can stop you in your tracks. At the same time, the crew grabbed high-pressure water hoses and started spraying them, making it really tough for the pirates to even think about climbing aboard. The pirates tried their best to take over, but they just couldn't handle the ship's defenses. Overwhelmed by the loud sounds and the barrage of water, they had no choice but to back off. They retreated, and the seaborne spirit and everyone on it stayed safe. It was all thanks to the captain's quick thinking and the crew's swift action that they managed to dodge such a serious threat. 15. Operation Dawn of Gulf of Aden When it's time to act, it's really time to act, even if that means facing down pirates. Back in January 2011, the South Korean Navy wasn't just sitting around when they learned that the Samho 
jewelry, a chemical tanker loaded with precious cargo, had been taken over by Somali pirates in the Arabian Sea. This tanker was on its way from the UAE to Sri Lanka when pirates hijacked it, a good 350 nautical miles off the coast of Muscat, Oman. The South Koreans didn't waste any time and launched a mission called Dawn of Gulf of Aden. No kidding, they rolled out the big equipment, a destroyer ship and a Lynx helicopter. Meanwhile, the ship's crew was safely locked away in a secure room, while the pirates thought they were in control. But here's where it gets interesting. The Navy was actually just waiting for the perfect moment, letting the pirates wear themselves out. And just as the first light of dawn was breaking, over 300 South Korean troops made their move. There were loud warning sounds from the destroyer and the helicopter. It was intense. During this rush of action, they managed to handle eight pirates and capture five more. And the crew, all 21 were safe, except for the captain who had a bit of a tough moment, but was quickly taken care of by the US Navy and expected to recover just fine. This whole encounter, lasting over five hours, really showed that the South Koreans are serious when it comes to protecting their people and their property. This wasn't just about saving the day, it was a clear message. No negotiating with pirates, not now, not ever. And there you have it, folks. Those were some of the most intense encounters where pirates messed with the wrong naval force. From daring chases to incredible rescues, these stories prove that the sea is no place for lawlessness. Which one was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more thrilling content like this, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.